The stock market has been on a tear since the dark days of March 2020. Back then, fear and uncertainty gripped investors as the COVID-19 pandemic took hold. The market plunged, erasing years of gains in a matter of weeks. Yet, just as quickly as it fell, the market rebounded. Unprecedented government stimulus and a resilient American spirit fueled a remarkable recovery. Fast forward to August 2024, and the market is showing signs of fatigue. After a steady climb, the major indices have plateaued, with some even experiencing slight pullbacks. This phenomenon, known as tapering gains, is not uncommon after a prolonged bull run. It's a natural part of the market cycle, a time for consolidation and reassessment. Tapering gains can be unsettling for investors, especially those new to the market's ebb and flow. It's important to remember that corrections and pullbacks are healthy. They prevent markets from becoming overheated and detached from economic realities. So, should investors be worried about tapering gains? The answer, as with most things in investing, is not a simple yes or no. It depends on a multitude of factors, from the overall health of the economy to the direction of interest rates and corporate earnings. The current market environment shares some similarities with the early days of the pandemic. There's a sense of uncertainty in the air, fueled by geopolitical tensions and persistent inflation. The Federal Reserve, after a period of aggressive rate hikes, is now signaling a potential pause, leaving investors to grapple with the implications for economic growth. However, there are also key differences. Unlike 2020, we're not facing a global health crisis that brought economic activity to a standstill. The job market, while showing signs of cooling, remains relatively strong. Corporate earnings, though not as robust as in previous quarters, are still largely positive. The similarities and differences between then and now highlight the importance of context in investing. What worked in 2020, like blindly buying the dip, may not necessarily work in 2024. Understanding the unique factors driving the market today is crucial for making informed investment decisions. Investor sentiment, that elusive mix of fear and greed, plays a powerful role in shaping market trends. In March 2020, fear reigned supreme. The pandemic's unknowns sent shockwaves through the market, leading to panic selling and a rapid decline in asset prices. However, as the initial shock subsided, a sense of cautious optimism emerged. The Federal Reserve's swift actions to inject liquidity into the system and the government's massive stimulus package helped restore confidence. Investors, reassured by these measures, returned to the market, fueling the remarkable rebound. Today, investor sentiment is more balanced, but still prone to swings. Concerns about inflation and a potential recession are tempered by optimism about technological advancements and the enduring strength of the American consumer. This delicate balance between fear and confidence is reflected in the market's current sideways movement. Liquidity, the ease with which assets can be bought or sold without affecting their price, is the lifeblood of financial markets. In March 2020, liquidity dried up as fear gripped the system. The Federal Reserve's intervention with quantitative easing and other measures proved crucial in restoring liquidity and averting a complete market meltdown. The influx of liquidity, combined with record low interest rates, created a favorable environment for asset prices to recover. Money flowed into the stock market, seeking higher returns in a low-yield environment. This surge in capital inflows provided a significant tailwind for the market's rebound. While liquidity is not as abundant today as it was in the immediate aftermath of the pandemic, it remains supportive of asset prices. Interest rates, though higher than their pandemic lows, are still relatively accommodative. As long as capital continues to flow into the market and liquidity remains ample, it will provide a buffer against significant downside moves, 